My people all, welcome back to another video. So Dave Umahi of APC government came out to expose secrets of how they planned and how the uh, presidential election went and all their plans that was put in place, how they never expected it. Okay, he confessed to obedient movement and Peter Obi. Then you will also be watching about um, a statistics that was um, analyzed in Arise News, how Nigeria is the highest unemployment country in the world. And yet, this government, the House of Assembly, wants to pass a bill to ban doctors, nurses, and pharmacists from relocating when you can't even offer them the job. Guys, just take a look at this video and let me know what you think. Uh, a very high level of integrity, you know, of the election. Uh, because in all honesty, I didn't give uh, any chance, you know, to Labour Party to, you know, win any election in my state. Because um, what we have put on ground, when we come to that, you know, it's such that no any other political party should be able to win anything, not even councillorship uh, election in a point state. And so uh, the, I see the election uh, or the votes of Labour Party as a kind of protest vote against my party, against the PDP. Uh, that, that's the way I see it. So I was very surprised that, you know, even in my family, there was conspiracy against me and I didn't know that they were going to vote for, you know, Labour in the presidential election. But in other elections, it is APC because of what we've done, because of uh, uh, the way we have carried on with the state. So it's very surprising. And it's very surprising that uh, Mr. President could lose uh, his uh, state, you know, uh, uh, the presidential you know, election level, and that Swaju could lose Lagos state. Look, let me tell you that uh, um, the religious leaders in my state, you know, uh, totally were, uh, you know, for the labor movement, you know. And that's why I saw it as a kind of protest vote. It wasn't a vote for, you know, uh, His Excellency Obi as such. It, it wasn't. There is uh, seemingly hardship and challenges in Nigeria. But if you evaluate it very, very well, you find out that it's, uh, you know, uh, a thing of uh, entire, you know, world. Festus Kayamo, who is, of course, our... Minister of State for Labor and Employment. He says here, allow me to kindly share the data of job creation by the National Directorate of Employment, the agency for job creation directly under my supervision as mandated by Mr. President. It is contained in a link to a Facebook page, not even their website, of the agency below. A brief breakdown of the efforts of the Ministry of Labor itself is highlighted. Now, here is another interesting thing, because you know he likes to send missives out. He says, out of sheer ignorance, many Nigerians point to the unemployment rate in Nigeria and heap it on the Ministry of Labor, whereas the statistics relate to all levels of government in Nigeria, from federal to local government. Anyway, look, if you go and look at the homepage of the Ministry of Labor, which we have up here, it literally says ensuring decent work for all Nigerians. I mean, that is, if you check their mandates and if you check their um, vision, it's about creating jobs and job, job, job creation. We go now to the stats that he provided. If you look at the NDE, the Facebook um, um, homepage, they said this is an in-depth statistical representation of the National Director of Employment's achievements covering all of its programs and schemes. This is the first page that you get on their stats when you go to their page. You, 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 you get a table. If you even drill in further into the table, it says self-employment, 140,201. There, no, um, there is no guide uh, with respect to <clears throat> the numbers. As, as far as the numbers, normally at the top, you'll get triple, two zeros for 100, triple zeros for thousands, and so on and so forth for millions. So we're expected to understand here that between 2015 and 2022, Self-employment was 272,000 when you've got a labor force that takes about three to five million people on an annual basis. They now put training. I don't know why they included training in a job creation thing, but they put training for urban, rural. Then they have wage employment. There is no disaggregation of the wage employment. We don't know what sectors they are in. We don't know which particular um, jobs they're talking about creating, but they just have rural, urban, and then YESO. YESO, I don't know why they put that in there. If we check a look at what YESO is, YESO is a youth employment and social support operation. It's part of it is component is public works. Another component is cash, conditional cash transfers. And then three, skills. Doesn't have anything to do with actual jobs. That's what they put in there and they put their numbers there. We push on further. He put this further stats where they have. Now look at this. And this is where it gets really troubling. You've got 
um, number of job services provided at various job centers across the country from 2015 to 2018. Again, there's no guide with respect to whether this is in hundreds or thousands or millions. So you just have to take the numbers for what they are. At the top there, it says number of job seekers. We're supposed to believe that in total, between 2015 to 2022, only 5,710 people are registered as job seekers. You take the number of job vacancies at the bottom, it comes out at 904. Again, you know, and then, and then check this out at the bottom there, number of job, match, fa job matches facilitated through Nelex. Nelex is the National Electronic Labor Exchange Program. If we take a look at their website, their website is down. There's, it's, it's, it says we'll be back soon. Sorry for the inconvenience. There's nothing. Take a look at Nelex Twitter page. This is supposed to be an exchange program for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, they have 276 followers. You take a look at the last three tweets that Nelex put out. Where that was in January the 31st of 2020. It's been about three years. So well, it will be back in 2027. <laughs> Doctor, it's a really tough situation. Anyway, let me close with um, KPMG Nigeria. KPMG put out a projection for unemployment in the country. They are saying for 2022 is 37.7%. For 2020 is 40.6%. As you know, we haven't gotten updated numbers since uh, Q4 2020. If these numbers hold um, correct, Nigeria has the highest unemployment in the world. Well, even KPMG says this is a projection. Yeah. And the KPMG is probably dealing with the former sector. So if you consider underemployment, mm. which is also a very major problem in this economy, uh, then, of course, you are looking at a large population of underemployed uh, you know, uh, uh, persons and unemployed uh, uh, persons. Now, with all of this, it's clear that the next administration in Nigeria, we have to deal with spiraling infl inflation, which, as you have correctly said, is responsible for this raging pandemic of empty, empty pockets, pockets. which right. all of us are very familiar with, mm. you know, and uh, we doesn't uh, discriminate, particularly across the middle class uh, spectrum. Then, of course, you have the challenge of slow economic growth, mm. and then you have unemployment. So very serious issues that the next administration of Nigeria would have to address. And uh, you were quoting, uh, paying much attention to statistics uh, provided by the Federal Ministry of Labor and uh, Employment. Well, you know, people lie a lot with statistics oh, in Nigeria. Sorry. And we have issues with data in terms of accuracy. So you can have a whole, uh, you know, set of data saying different things. And, uh, you know, uh, Festus Kiyamo uh, talking about... Uh, unemployment and what the government has done. Well, did you refer in that uh, report that you are quoting to the host and uh, we barrows <laughs> that uh, it was shown, and cut classes mm. that it, it was shown uh, distributing in certain parts of Nigeria as evidence that uh, they you know, the Buhari jobs. administration was uh, creating jobs. I, I, did you provide statistics provide with what happened with those hosts and cut classes oh, uh, that it was given out? But he has one point that oftentimes when we talk about unemployment, we don't talk about the responsibility of the subnationals. Mm. Okay, state governments, what are they doing? Local governments, what are they doing? We tend to focus more on the federal government. And it's not only with regard to employment generation, it's with regard to everything else. Mm. But whether we need it, or we, we like it or not, we still have to address the issues of the economy. One of the recommendations from the uh, IMF mm. in the World Economic uh, Outlook, charting the way forward for Nigeria specifically. They said, well, Nigeria will have to tighten monetary policy further. We have done so six times yep. consecutively. Indeed. Inflation rate has been going up three times. Mm -hmm. The highest rate in 17 years, mm. inflation rate. Yeah. Okay, it could be higher before the end of the year. So these are the challenges that we face. But the issue is, are we going to get the right skill set?